love this. <coughs> I know. Alright, let's keep going. Hippos over there. Oh, that's the different na the African names. The yeah, those are the African names if you want to say African names. Mm -hmm. That's what you say all the time. Is that an ostrich at home? I think that's all the animals. Yes. That's what have you been telling me? When you say my bunny? My bunny? No. I'm talking about Minnie when I say right, my bunny. Simba one. Simba one. Oh. Woo. Look at that cheetah. Oh, it's cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at this. I'm liking this. Ah, uh, we officially stopped. Oh, on the line. On, on the line. Boy, on the line. Christina's on the line. You gotta be on the line. Jackson, line. on the line. All right. I was courting this whole time. The lion. Oh, I can take that out. Yeah, I have. Ah, do you mind? Stop Babe, go faster. Get run over if you start falling yeah. For the comfort and safety of the animals, as well as everyone on your safari chopper. I have no clue. I don't know the different birds. The of the so check the setting of your phone now before you make your safari. Up over there. <laughs> As with many game parks in Africa, even here, and snugly cross face, exactly like mine is right now. I'm recording, so that's only the 2022 right? Hey, so it shouldn't be too hard to follow these very simple Leo, instructions. You know, I can record you. Now, Jackson, are you excited about this? Yeah. This is your ride right here. Yeah. Ooh, that's like a million in Africa. That's a slime pipe. That is a saddle built stork. Oh, look at that. It's nine feet across, so very, very big. There's another one a little further up. Oh, I see it. There you go. Well, you can tell the difference between the male and the female saddle built stork is we're looking at their eyes. The males have dark brown eyes, or the females have bright yellow eyes. Ah. Now make sure you do keep your eyes wide open because the animals are his points or experts at using their surroundings as camouflage. Beautiful tan colored antelope. These are the greater kudu. Now, greater kudu are the second largest species of antelope. They're the greater kudu. And you can tell these are female greater kudu because they have no horns. The male greater kudu are the second largest of any antelope species. I'm recording, so you gotta be on the way. Not one to watch. Be recorded, okay? Over to the Safi River is home to some of the bigger animals here on the reserve. It's also home to the most dangerous. That Safi is a Swahili where the translates are pure, so this would be called the Pure River. Actually, down there in the water, you're going to be able to see the Nile hippopotamus. Now, the Nile hippos are massive. It's a fire in the water. Oh, look at the hippo. Now, they are one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Look at the water. Very short tempers and extremely territorial. Yeah. Also, the correct name for a group of hippos, I guess we have the left, is a galoot. Now, so it's half the island and it's sent here in the pink bag color cuts. Look at that, more hippos! Look at those hippos. They're in the water. It's about seven Look at those birds. Remember, those are the birds that are always with the hippos. Of pelicans is a pod. Unless they are fishing as a group, 
in which case it would be called a fleet. migrated was 1.5 million of them. And they traveled for about 500 to 1,000 miles across the African Savannah, so took water no or food. And then they were translated over from Africa as well. Oh, I can see the baby one now. Yeah, you yeah, see the baby one now. Very, very back. smart. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. All of them sleep in a big circle. And facing it in different directions, so they have ears and horns points in every direction. So no one changes is coming to snow, it's close. Also, the correct name for a group of all the beasts is a confusion. <laughs> also, go by a secondary the name, the mule, G and U. That's actually the sound they make. Now, here on the left hand side, if you see the African wild dogs, and the African wild dogs are the most efficient way of hunting. I should tell you they're pretty good at their amazing stamina. Yeah, there's the also, wild dogs. Also, painted those so the beautiful colors on the front. Why it dogs? Was it color service, Why it looks? That's how they identify each other. And no two African wild dogs will ever be exactly like. They're also no, the I most successful hunters There's in all of Africa. Dogs, catching 85% of every single one of their prey. Ooh, look at them wild dogs. They're very dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. Ooh, Mm -hmm. Now they have the side of it. You see the cattle oh, with the giant horns. Like this is the Golden Cow or the Watusi cattle. Watusi. Now the name Watusi comes from the Watusi tribe. It's actually the first tribe to ever domesticate them over in Africa. Oh, look at that. Now their horns can go for eight minutes up to six feet in length and about 30 centimeters in diameter at the base. Now having their horns are extremely heavy. They're actually quite light since they are hollow and made of honeycomb to have a structure that will circulate blood and allow them to cool down. Coldy cat is also sent of the side trap of Africa. Hey, do you need your sunglasses? Yeah. I like the giant yeah. Also, I want to hold this babe while you have sunglasses. Oh, it's a giant I also get to see a lot of these giant mounds all over those. These actually termite mounds. Now some of these termite mounds can measure up to about 25 to 30 feet tall. And they are as hard as concrete it's fully dried. That's why elephants and rhinos like to use some scratching posts. I was in front of the ward down the circle of a dome shape like that one down the right. And yeah, the smaller ants yeah. the African Savannah. Yeah. So, so, look out for so they can see all the tall grass. Yeah, and they should have been dangerous. Well, I have to put some glasses. I have glasses. My glasses don't have sun protection. My glasses have sun protection. A little further up and heading on the right hand side, you get a much better view. There we go. These beautiful zebras. Now, these are the harbor oh, zebras. There's the baby. The right. no, harbor oh, zebras are the largest baby. species. It's by the mama six there. Feet the oh, oh, it's the it's the difference between this particular species and the species of the zebra and the stripes. Their black stripes are all the way around the body. They have a white underbelly. And their hind legs are so thick that they're the species. 
Also, the correct name for you to see us is a dazzle. A dazzle? Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Well, we're about to go into a large puddle. Now, a little puddle. further up ahead, anybody see? Very cute little antelope. Those are the spring bugs. Uh, spring bug at the name for their amazing glitter. It jumped about seven feet up in the air, 13 feet across, and I forgot something. Uh, there they are, it's a small antelope. They have a tendency to about 55 miles an hour. They're very, very fast. Seems like just around the corner on the left hand side, we're almost going to be able to see the sable antelope. That uh, sable antelope at the name for the beautiful sable like horns that they use to protect themselves from the young competitors. They're also the insignia or the face of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Oh, wow. I will also, of course, be able to see yeah, one over there. Oh, Look at the giraffe! So, really big heart. so that's the next measure. It's about two feet wide. Uh, newborn baby drivers are six feet tall as soon as they're born. And they can actually begin walking when an hour are being born. There's a giraffe on Here inside, we to see some of the major monkeys. Now, major monkeys are the largest species of monkeys, they weigh over 100 pounds. And you can tell the difference between the males and the females is the males have better coloration of blue, right? Or the stones in their backs. Also, now on the right hand side, you have a big male African bull elephant. You can quickly identify him as an African elephant, but the formation on his ears, it actually resembles an African. Really cool thing about elephants' ears is every time they start flapping those ears, the less they can hear better. It's actually to cool down their internal right, body to a picture of it. 15 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really big and thick bacteria. This is how it circulates blood and the cool down. Look at that elephant. Yeah, look at that big elephant. An elephant trunk is one of the strongest parts of their body. They have those about 50,000 muscles in just the trunk alone. I have noticed it's such a massive part of the body. They are also here bring a very small amount of things in a quarter. Let's show you how they're going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Yeah. This is good. Now, even elephants, such big that. and strong animals, the skin is so pretty sensitive. So you can come and see them throwing sand, blood, or water, or ice. So they're going to protect themselves from the sun.
Italian myth that's so popular as my friends in these movies. Except these massive elephants are oh, scared of rodents. That is not true. They're actually scared of bees. Now, the farmers in Africa develop this and they feel like a harmless way of keeping the elephants away from their crops. They're called beehive fences. They work about 95% of the time. Very, very effective. Now a little further up ahead here on the Latina side, you'll see the greater flamingos. The greater flamingos are the lightest shade of pink. They get that beautiful pink color is from the diet of branch and contains me to keratin. Now they aren't born of those beautiful pink feathers, they're actually more time. Right, more of a gray color. Uh, no flamingos are birds, a group of flamingos not correctly called a flock. The correct name for them is actually a flight buoyant. A bit of a fancy name for them. Inside. There's two of them front and center. Actually, three of them. So the cheetahs. Cheetahs! Now, cheetahs are the fastest in the animal about 60 to 65 miles an hour. Now, they can't maintain that amazing speed of fabric because they have very poor stamina. But they're extremely efficient over short distances. And also, the correct name for a group of cheetahs is a coalition. Although it is very nervous, a group of cheetahs on the world, since they do like tons alone. Cats eat is also though the cats in the world are non-retractable claws. Also use their very long tails a bit of maneuver themselves. All running around in town's feet. A little further up ahead, you can see this very beautiful rock formation. It's called the Kopi Rock Formation. But you may not have the name or recognize it from some place. Now this is only the day nocturnal predators and nocturnal does mean they're almost active at night. It also means it is a little early for them. They're most likely sleeping right now. And there he is, sleeping. This is right beside him. Here is the king of the And the other female is above both of them. There's a female right there. Now lions like to sleep quite a bit. They sleep for about 16 and 20 hours each day. Now lions roar. It's such a powerful sign it's but it's five miles away. Now during the daytime their eyesight is about as good as ours. The most nocturnal their eyesight is about six times better. Now the male lion usually stays behind a protective pride and teaches the cubs to hunt. While the female lioness is actually the ones to go out and do the hunting. Now on the right hand side you can see very beautiful white rhinos. Now white rhinos are massive. And so a group of white rhinos is currently called the crash. Now this Swahili word for lion is Simba. So every time you say the word Simba, they should say lion in Swahili. Yeah, Swahili. So that was Swahili that we read. On the left hand side of BDC, some warthogs. Now, warthogs are one of the biggest burrowing animals. Make those big burrows in the ground, these little giant tusks on their faces. And the burrows they make all their homes. Now, sometimes it's like to confiscate their animals' burrows, but maybe it's a little bit bigger so they can fit. Now, when it is time to go to see them to back up into their homes, make sure those tusks are pointing outwards. In case any predators come a little bit close. On the right hand side, you get a slightly different angle. There's some more on 
those beautiful white riders and the little insula blade down there. Now the name white rider does not come from the color because white riders are actually gray. It is believed to have come from the mispronunciation of the word white, is how they were called in Africa. Bite kefaro, which means wide mouth rhino. into the Magadi, Minnesota, one of the wardens and some very cute Nigerian road films. That very side, I said they were coming to a man of a safari journey. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for coming along with me. Now, if you do share love and a passion for all these animals, you're help them out the way you can. Pray we're doing so as to reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can recycle plastic, cardboard, glass, paper, even all cell phones. Cell phones are actually contain inside of the material called the cold tap. And Colton is in mind very, very closely to a lot of these animals' habitats. Now, they bring the mining operation. Yeah, look at that big boy. Mm. That's that rabbit. I took a picture of it. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, another one. Oh, my God. They're all coming to the... They're all coming to the... They have enrichments. They have enrichments on the floor to play with. Ooh, he must be the leader. Oh, there's a baby! Oh, there's a little baby. There's a baby. Bachelors? He's like, get out of here. He's like, go oh, kids, get out of here. Get back over there. All right, let's go see the bachelors. That's just like, man, like kids. Good enough. I'm in mean, time that I told you to stay with the plants. <laughs> All right. I got up and record now. So I don't Come on, Leo. Pictures. Yeah, speed. Would you let go? Christine is about to go flying down this hill. <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> Hold on to Daddy's back pocket. He's got it. He's got my arm. Oh, here we go. Oh, time for bridge time. For bridge time. <laughs> Daddy, you can walk faster, you know. I can't when I'm dragging two kids with me. All right, walk faster, kids. The bachelors over here, but I don't see them. They're on that side. Oh, there they are. Where the people are. There's more girls. Or that side. You can go either way. Which way you want to go? This way. Look at them, baby. Oh, look at them. Right here. Ah, look at them. Look at the big boys. Oh, he's playing with his enrichment. There's another one over here. On the other side. All right. See him up there on the waterfall? Look at him. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Look at the big boys. Big boys. Oh, little buddy, go. You keep up. You can make it. Look at all the animals. I see it. Oh. Okay. Throughout today's performance, please refrain from buzzing, stinging, and pollinating. And no chirping. Thank you. Huh? And now, put your wings together for the host of our show, everyone's favorite and Link!
Say it. Simba Sunset. Yeah, he got Simba Sunset. He got a brownie that looks like Mickey. And I realized And then we got the pineapple floats. And we are all at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Look at that guy. I recommend you don't try doing that in front of him. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, come on. You want to do it one more time? No, not you, Leo. Don't do it. You don't want to call that because he'll probably think you're asking him for dinner. Don't touch it. Let it go by. There he goes. You're not going to do it again? No. I just missed it. Push it up, boys. There you go, high. Hey, crank it up. Up, up, up. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. 
Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguana dog. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone, okay? You see him? There he is! He's not, he made it! He came back with us. Get you, Jackson. Are you going to do it again or are you good? You good? Go. <laughs> See the fighting antelope? Over? Go. There's fighting antelope next to you. Fighting antelope? Yeah. Where? Oh. Behind you. Behind me? Yeah, I did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, this way. There's an octopus. I know, I see it. I got it in my video. I'm video recording all this area. That way I don't have to keep stopping and taking pictures. A sea turtle. Oh, there's the sea turtle. Come under the waterfall. Oh, watch out. I say why. I'm not too thrilled about that water. I can't water in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I fit inside this cave? Oh, snap. That's a small hole. Alright, can we get in there, Leo? Leo, see if you can get in there. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a door in the back. Yeah. Leo, stop. Leo, stop. Alright, let's roll. Ah, I got wet. The rhino. I see the and rhino. The back of an eagle. And what is that? Oh, that's a... A sugar bear, I think. No? Is it? Okay. There's an anteater next to you. Or a monk. Or maybe that's a mere cat. I don't know. Cats have... I got the stinking avatar in my head. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Why are we stopping? Because Leo's in the way. Leo, I, remember you gotta stay behind Christina. Turn, boo boo. Okay, where do we gotta go from here? Because there's two different ways. Well, that way's blocked off. Oh, right? okay. Oh, it is blocked off. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> there's nothing. Ducky, ducky, ducky. Woo! A rain tail lemur is supposed to be in here, but it's not on this side. We still haven't found those lemurs. No? Yeah, I know. Those dang lemurs. All right, you ready to stir me again? Yeah. Yeah. I still haven't found those lemurs. Maybe we'll find them eventually. Oh, I think they're sleeping. Yeah, I think I saw them on the thingy. Let's we'll see if we can find them. Did we ever find it? Where is it at? It's right here where it's tough to be a bug. Did we pass it? Where's the adventures, Lance? Oh, well, let me consult the map. Yeah, you consult your map while I figure out, while I see if I can find the lemurs. Oh, let's see. See if you can find the lemurs, boys. Daddy, consult your map. Well, put your damn brakes on, woman. I'm fine with rolling backwards a little there bit. There's more ducks. 
You're so annoying. You know that? Oh, I see them. They're behind the trees. They're behind the trees where? This tree, Leo. They're behind the There's a lot of lemurs. All I see is ducks. Where are we at? We need to go behind the tree. Like yeah, that's what I figured. We needed to turn. I thought we popped out at. I think with the other road being blocked, that's where we would have went. So yeah. They had it blocked off. So yeah. Yeah. All right.